Hello to everyone. This is your learning and training platform about business courses. I'm your partner. I'm called Benone Ivkuruzwa. So today's session, we are going to give also the suggested answer for various exams. Today, we are going to give suggested answer for the cashier exams dear friend dear brothers dear flowers over this patella tv i request you to subscribe on this patella tv if you have not already subscribed on this patella tv and share this video to your fr your, your friend to other groups and like write comment on the blow of this video if you have any queries any question about to these videos so today we have question here which comprises with the 60 questions our question here comprises 60 questions and i'm going to try to give the suggested answer for those 60 questions so dear friend dear brothers of this patera tv the first question for this question here is stating that which of the following two circles would you consider more sustainable and explain why we are going to comparing two circles and we say which circles which are sustainable than others and give the sum reasons let me starting by reading our question in order to understand very well the suggested answer we are going to give later our question is stated that which of the following two circles would you consider more sustainable and explain why uh, uh, a year is 2018 we have circle a and we have circle b so both circles have blowed fund from KCB Kenya Commercial Bank. The circle A has blowed Rwanda Nifla 350 million, but circle B have blowed Rwanda Nifla 700 million. The concessional rate, the concessional rate for circle A is equal to four percent but the concessional rate of interest by circle b is equal to three percent percent the market rate or the mark the market rate the market interest rate for a borrowing fund for circle a is equal to 17 percent and also for the circle a is equal to 17 also percent the profit at the end of the year for both sec for both circles are the same at eight seven million two hundred thousand and ninety hundred so our question is asking us to say which of Two circles are sustainable than others. Dear friend, dear lovers of this Patera TV, in order to give the understandable suggested answer for this question, we are going starting by explaining some technical term containing in these questions. So the first technical term we are going to, to explain is what we call concessional 
interest rate dear friend dear lovers of this patera tv an interest concession is a reduction compared with commercial interest rate or market interest rate in the interest rate in the interest rate charged on the loan taken out. An interest concession is a reduction compared with commercial interest rate. Means that the commercial interest rate or the market interest rate is reducted. Is deducted to the interest rate charged on the loan taken out. That deduction interest, the interest deducted on the commercial interest rate or market interest rate to reach to the interest rate charged on the loan taken out is let called interest rate concession. Concession, concessional rate of interest. Such, con such concessions are typically provided directly by government agents or by government grant to lending bank. In the case of commercial, in the case of a commercial loan, Nukuvangu Ahangaha, an interest concession, Dufite commercial interest rate cyangwa se market interest rate i market interest rate ni rate commercial bank zishobora gutirizaho zishobora guheraho abakiriya babo inguzanyo bishoboka ko rero izi commercial izi commercial bank nazo zijya gusaba inguzanyo Yose giye gusaba inguzanyo zo ntaguzi nago baziha inguzanyo kuri yo market interest rate ahubwo hari kuri interest rate hari deductions ikurwa yo deduction is a interest ya kuye niyo hano barimo kwita concessional rate of interest kugira ngo tugere kuri interest nuno bazacharginga iyo commercial bank igiye igiye giye kugira iki gufata Inguzani. So, I think you have understand very well the concessional net of interest or an interest or an interest on concession. So, in answering our question, we are going to follow this step in order to compare, in order to compare. So, we are going to flow this step in order to reach to the conclusion which comparing our two circles first we are going to search return on capital employed the second we are going to search for cost of capital the third step we are going to search economic value added so as you see for our question the profit at the end of the day is equal to 87 million 200,000 and 900 for above circles so remember when we are going to search for the turn on the capital employed we take our profit and divided by capital employed times 100 so those two circles we are going to treat it as jailing company means that these circles use loan only as their capitals so if this bank if the circles use loan only we are going to search for return on capital employed by taking our profit at the end of the year 
and dividing by the capital employed the capital employed which is loan taken at times a 100 so you are seeing that the capital the return on the capital employed for circle a is equal to is equal to 44.9 per percent the for circle b return on return on capital employed is equal to Twelve point four five percent. Another step, we are going to search the cost of a capital. The cost of a capital stated here is interest calculated at the rate charged by the state bank. So, the cost of a capital we are, we are we are going to use here is not market interest interest rate. But the cost of a capital co uh, cost charged to circles when are borrowing the fund, we are going to take commercial interest rate, market interest rate, and deduct the concessional rate of interest. So for circle A. For circle A, we see that the cost of a capital is equal to 30, 13%. For circle B, we see that the cost of a capital is equal to 14. So, the, the third step, we are going to, to search for economic value added dear friend dear brothers of this patera tv the economic value added is other performance measures we are going to measure this we are going to use in Measuring these two circles. First of all, what is economic value added? Economic value added is an estimated of a farmer's economic profit or the value created in excess of the required rate of rate of return of the company's share holders. This means that economic value added is excess to the cost of capitals means that economic value added is economic profit that the managers of the company added to the business of the company. Hano economic value added the profit ibirenga kuri return on capital employed by any business babaga bifuz. Tubara economic value added igeniva return on capital employed is the cost of capital your difference between return on capital employed and the cost of capital new to zeta economic value added in the name of the jago koresha you know tools you know other performance measures in comparing these two circles so Economic value added is the net profit, it is the capital charge for raising the farmer's capital. The 
the perfect is that Vary is created when the return on the cap the return on the farmers economic capital employed exceed to the cost of thirty capitals. As you see, we are going to search economic value added for circle A and economic value added for circle B. The circles which have greater economic value added is the circles which are more sustainable to others as you see i have explained that the economic value added is equal to return on the capital employed minus weighted average cost of capital so in the above step we have calculated the return on the capital employed and you have returned the cost of capital for each of two circles so for circle a the return of capital return on the capital employed is equal to 24.9 percent and the cost of capital is equal to 13 percent then the economic value added we are going to take we are going to take uh, return on the capital employed minus cost of capital and you see that the economic value added for circle a is equal to 11.9 percent in economic very added in amount we see that we are going to search a return on the capital employed in amount and detect the cost of capital in amount so when we, when we do that we see that return on the capital employed is equal to 87,200,000 and 900 minus cost of capital cost of capital is equal to 455,000,000 million, million. so the economic value added in amount is equal to 41,700,000 and 900 so for a circle b for circle b economic value added is equal to also return on the capital employed minus weighted average cost of capital as we see in our circle b the return on the capital employed is equal to 12.45 percent and the cost of a capital is equal to 14 percent so the economic value added in a percent for circle b we are going to take return on a capital employed minus two weighted average cost of capital so the we are going to take 12 Point four five percent minus fourteen percent, which will give the minus one point five five percent. As you see, the economic over added for Saku A is positive, but the economic by added for the circle B is negative. So when we are looking economic value added for circle B in terms of amount, we are going to see that the economic value added in amount are a negative amount. This means that the the circle B does not add the value 
of two shareholders does not adding value to the amount invested by shareholders in, in the company but for circle a the managers the directors of those institutions have added the value to the amount invested by shareholders equal to 11.9 percent as conclusion as conclusion is that circle a is sustainable than circle b because circle a create additional value to their owners but circle b does not create additional value to its owners so this question one is ended here we are going to keep up with the question two the question two is stating that as a candidate on the post of a cashier explain what is the financial mission of the circles in rwanda we are going to explain the financial mission of circles in, in rwanda so the answer is that the financial mission of the circles in rwanda is going to be similar to the financial mission of microfinance institution in Rwanda. So, the financial mission of circles in Rwanda is to accelerate access to financial services for Rwandanese, power, and rural populations. Simply, the financial mission of circles in Rwanda is to provide financial services for Rwandan for Rwandanese power in the rural population by expanding by expanding the base of new servers and access to loans for serving group and the individuals. The financial mission is a Sakuzom Rwanda Nukujirango Abatura Jeva Chenye Abatura Jeva Mucharo Abashe Kuba Bake Jerezgwa Services in Mari, Harimo, Kubitsa, Noguhabi, Chinoguhabga, Inguzan. Means that providing saving services to the Rwandanese power and rural population is and providing loan to, to them. Those are financial mission of circles in, in Rwanda. We have question three. The question three is stating that choose the best answer the question one is stating that loan fees received by circles represent a equity b expense c revenue d no one of the above above answers Dear friend, first of all is to understand in order to pick out one of these choices, you must understand what, what is loan, loan fees, loan fees received by circles. So as I stated here, the loan fees, The loan fees is any fees associated with a loan or credit card that does not include the interest rate simply. Loan fees yeah, is in the income uri gutanga inguzanyo ya chirie zituruze kunguzanya tanze ariko atari interest rate atari interest Receive the Gucci kuri your own. Any fees that you are charged for borrowing money to love a loan or credit card that is not the interest interest rate that is loan loan fees is considered as loan fees. 
some some of the most common examples are application fees application fees are one of the associated fees for loan which are not interest rate processing fees organization fees closing annual fees founding fees late fees overdraft fees non sufficient fund fees and prepayment fees dear friend dear lovers dear flowers of this patera tv this is professional fees this is our loan fees so this loan fees in french we call it autre produit so this fees is the revenue for circles You have stated, you have started for this. We are answering the question two. The question two, which is stating that as a candidate on the post of a cashier, explain what is the financial mission of the circles in rwanda we have giving the answer the suggested the answer for this question so we are in the question three where we are going to pick the best answer So we are going to answer for the question four. The question four stated that Ngabo wants to pay back his debt to the Chile Micro Finance. He has already paid back 55% of the initial debt. His friend Rukundo offered to help by paying 23% of the initial debt. So now he only needs additional Rwanda Nifra 450,450 in order to pay off the debt. The question is that what was the initial amount of the debt that Ngabo owed to the Chile Micro Finance? Chiwazo Chila Tugirango, Mugabo Vita Ngabo Arashaka kwishyura ideni yarafite dukire yarafite dukire micro finance ibyo deni yagishyuye 155 kwijana ku ideni nubundi yafashe inshuti ye rukundo imuhaye ubufasha cyangwa se yamuhaye ubufasha imwishyura 23 kwijana y'ibyo deni yafashe bakakubwira ko ubu ngubu akeneye kongeraho ibihumbi 1500 amafaranga 1500 kugira ngo idene ryose abarirangeje what was the initial amount of the debt ngabo owed to the chile microfinance ngo ngo na yahe amafaranga uhe mwenda uyu ngabo yatangiranye cyangwa se yaramurimo amafaranga angaye bivuze iki cuti bi patrative answer for this question is that the total payback to the chile is equal to 55 percent plus 23 percent which is equal 78 percent the 78 percent is a debt which have already paid back to the chile microfinance paid by 
ngabo and his friend rukundo the remaining amount to pay to the chile we are going to take a 100 which representing the total debt and deduct the debt which are already paid back 78 percent and we get 22 per percent then the 22 percent of initial amount is is equal to one and four hundred and four hundred fifty hundred so we are going to to search if we have twenty percent in amount we are going to search a hundred percent in amount so so the initial amount of the debt in Gabo order to do Chile microfinance we are going to take the four hundred fifty thousand four hundred fifty hundred times a hundred and divided by twenty twenty two and you see that the initial debt initial debt then I was taken to the Chile microfinance is equal to one and four two million forty seven thousand five hundred this is the question question four so we are going also to give the suggested answer for the question question five so the question five stated that indicate if the following statement are true or wrong by responding with t or w or w so answer for this question the question the question a stating that the double mission of microfinance institution is looks at social performance our suggested answer for this question is true why because by allowing providing small saving services and lending small credit to power citizen we enhance the financial capacity of the society so what the microfinance what the mission of microfinance the institution of providing saving services and the credit services for the poorest wandani people or rural population is will increase will enhance the financial capacity of the society that is why I suggested that the double mission of microfinance institution looks at total at the social performance. Our B is stating that the price of money in the banking sector is transaction cost. Is a transaction cost. Dear friend, the transaction cost is different from the purchasing or purchasing price or the consideration price but this, the, the question price of money in the banking sector is transaction cost dear friend the in in normal circumstances for example if we are going to buy an asset so, in order to get that asset, and you are going to search for the commissioner to, to search for you that asset, and you, you, you are going to pay commission fees for that commissioner. So, those commission fees may be treated as transaction cost. So the price of money in the banking sector is interest rate, but not but for other business the price of money is the transaction cost. Dear friend, dear growers, dear followers of this particular TV, the price of money in the banking sector is interest rate, 
is not transaction cost but for other businesses the price of money is transaction cost that is why uh, we are going to pick long the price of money in the banking sector is not transaction cost our C is stating that an microfinance institution is considered financial sustainable when it generates enough profit to cover all of its expenses without dependence on donor support what you think here dear friend if you have a capacity to generate profit cover all expenses you are sustainable but if you you, you can cover your expenses depending on the other support i think you are not sustainable so that's why i suggested that microfinance institution is considered financial sustainable when it is generated enough profit to cover all of its expenses without dependence on the donor support we are going to pick out true d is stated that increasing the interest rate on the customer loan improves and microfinance institutions profitability and social performance our suggested answer is long because as you see this is true it, it, it is going to increase the profitability of the banking sector of the microfinance institution but for social performance does not increase the social performance for does not increase the social performance because when we are going to increase the interest rate the many citizens are not capable to to request for for credit to satisfy their needs so to increase the interest rate on a customer's loan will decline the social performance So our question five is ended here. We are going to give suggested the answer about to the question six. What is the difference between debit card and the credit card? Our answer is this: debit card allow back customers to spend the money by drawing or withdrawal on the funds they have deposited at bank a debit card is payment card that makes payment by deducting money directed from customers checking account rather than via loan from bank for example the debit card are automatic data machine so debit card hano trimo kuvuga ni card izagufasha kubikura mafaranga yawe wenda wishyura ibintu cyangwa se ufata kashi mu buryo busanzwe urugira no turimo kwifashisha ni ITM ITM za banke yose wabufite turayikoresha tukajya tukayengesha muri ITM machine ITM card tukayengesha muri ITM machine tukabona amafaranga ariko kuri konte zacu haramutse nta mafaranga ariho ntabwo dushobora kubona iki kubona amafaranga so the credit card credit card allow customers to borrow money from the card issuer up to the certain limit in order to purchase item or withdraw cashes hano credit card yo yemerera umukiriya wa banke kuba yabikuza cyangwa se yakura amafaranga kuri account atanayo akaba yafata imwemerera kuba yafata numwenda akoresheje iyo card ishu umwenda afashe wenda akaba yaguri kintu cyangwa se amafaranga yafata muntu ki iyo ni twite iki credit card 
a credit card is a card issued by financial institutions typically a bank a bank and it's enable the card holder to borrow funds from that institutions a credit card is a fasha uyifite kuba yaguza amafaranga kwiyo kwicyo kigo kimaye cha cyayo muhaye card holders agree to pay the money back with interest according to the institutions terms anga uyifite uza guza amafaranga ari kuzayagarura yagarurane na interest tugendeye kuki kuri kumasezerano wageranye n'icyo kigo kimara so dear friend dear brothers dear flowers of this matala tv our session today is ended here i'm also reminding you i'm also requesting you to make subscription on this Patera TV if you have not subscribed on this Patera TV share this video to your friend to other group in order to motivate to motivating us so thank you for watching God bless you what we are going to do about this video is valuable asset to us this is done by benone thank you for watching